Hello, it's Robbo or Barn in Effect and welcome back to my channel. Not so long ago I did a video about motivation and how to stay motivated. I'll put that link in the description. I suggest you go and check that out because today we're going to be talking about ambition and confidence. These are the two great drivers of career success, of life success. Confidence will often trump competence and ambition will often get you ahead where ability doesn't. Conversely, even the most capable will languish if they lack one or both. Confidence is perhaps the more obvious of the two traits. Most of us can think of people who've created a virtuous circle of confidence and success. And people whose confidence has been eroded to the point where they believe they can't do anything right, often can't. Confidence can be innate. Some people have it from their genes and upbringing. But confidence also brings more confidence. It breeds more of itself. Who has not experienced a success that has bolstered self-belief and led to further successes? And people tend to follow confident leaders, which makes them likely to become yet more successful and more confident. The good news? Yeah, the good news is that confidence can be created and even feigned. If you're unsure of the ground you stand on at work, if you're unsure of how you're received by other people, you can start by trying to adopt the feeling of somebody who is in control. Tell yourself you can do it and envision success. You'll hear many sports people, sportsmen and women, like a golfer, imagining when they're taking a putt that the ball is going to go into the hole. Although this might sound rather trite, your brain really does latch onto it and boost your confidence. If you then succeed, this fake confidence will become real. Now, there's plenty of other tricks you can use. Remember, even when you're nervous when you're talking into the microphone or to other people, if you're nervous, others can't see your nerves. Think about the times that you've succeeded, even in a totally unrelated situation. Preparation can make you far more confident, as well as being practically useful. You can use this in everyday life for different situations. Confidence might seem straightforward, but ambition is harder to nail down. We all agree that we need it, and even that it often makes the difference between high-end jobs or being the, the top in class, anything like that, all to do with ambition. But you can improve and develop your ambition in the same way you brush up on your IT skills or your confidence. You just need to be realistic. You're unlikely to turn yourself from an ordinary guy into a chief executive of a massive company. Who goes from the gutter to the stars in one fell movement? It doesn't happen that way, but you need the ambition to make it so. If it makes you feel better, ultra ambition types are never satisfied by their success. They don't quite believe it, which is why they keep on going. You can build your own ambition by looking at people who enjoy their work and who are enthused by it. Take a few YouTube videos, look at the way that they do their, their channel, their YouTube. They enjoy it, they're enthused by it. People like this have been often struck with one area they believe in and love, and they work hard because they're interested in it, they enjoy it, and because they're in an area that's right for them, it, it just works. Also understand your other motivations. Go back to the video about motivation and how to stay motivated. You might think that your strongest motivator is money, when actually you're more motivated by security for yourself or your family. Now, something very, very important. Don't let yourself get stuck in a rut. Try things that are new. If you're at work, try applying for new positions that interest you. Network, get out there, get out your comfort zone. Speak to other people. If you're trying to increase your YouTube channel, get out there and speak to other people. See how they did it. Get out of your comfort zone and do something new. Think about where you want to be and the steps you have to take to get there. Don't wait for jobs to come to you. Successful people tend to accustom themselves by taking risks that others shy away from. Remember that ambition and confidence can only take you so far, while both act as life accelerants they must work with the talent you already have. Boundless ambition and endless self-confidence without much ability are what makes cringe-worthy television and YouTube channels. 
well-channeled ambition and properly developed confidence are what separates the ordinary person to the superstars and the also-runs. I'm Rob O'Barn in effect. Thanks for listening.